Hey guys, and welcome back to our FIFA 18 career with Brentford, where last time out we had our two games against Ipswich. One was a draw, and the second in the Carabao Cup was a good 2-0 victory. So next up we have Wolves at home, who are third in the table, and if we win this game we can go level on points and climb up back into the promotion places. So it is all to play for. At the early stages of this league campaign, we are at the 26th of August, so we are very, very close to the end of the transfer window. So hopefully we'll be able to get in another player or two. We're still on that hunt for that attacking midfielder. Um, so there's a couple of scouting missions out on the way at the moment. But if all comes down to we've got a fairly good solid squad who we can move around um, throughout the season. So it's not all doom and gloom. But until then, we're going to start off this game against Wolves. Okay, so this is the same team that did start the last game, apart from Ollie Wick Watkins, who did get injured. We've got uh, Jose Foon on the left wing, uh, Makito starting in the central of midfield. We've got Harrison and Sessa, our two new players on the bench. Uh, Vibe is also there for backup, so we've got a very, very strong and exciting bench that we can play around with. Go on, Jose Foon. This is a big gap we got here inside. Oh, yes. It's a good shimmy. We've got a run-up. Let's wait for him. Clive up. Bang. Oh, I really wasted that opportunity. Before half-time. No. Oh, my skill's not paid off. Go. Whip it. Oh, mate, come on. Oh, we just got dicked by one player. That is silly. Not good. Not good at all. Come on, judge. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Too much. I just lashed it. Yes. Oh, God. What a great sub he was. Took off that tyre for being rubbish. Harrison comes on and does the good. See? So it ends one all. It was a fairly close game in the middle, which is why there weren't many chances at all. But the few changes, like bringing on Harrison, uh, was a good bet. He's got some pace under him, uh, which was nice to see, and getting his debut goal. Sessa came on. Wasn't anything special, but I wasn't expecting him to be. Uh, but we almost scored at the end, so it wasn't all bad. So it is transfer deadline day. Does not look like we're going to have any more deals uh, to play a part in. But we do not know who will be approached from other clubs, so it is always useful to stick around and see what happens. So that is the end of the transfer window. We did bring in a couple of good players, so it has not been too bad at all. But most importantly, we need to remember to not forget that this is the time through to January where we need to get our scouting done. So basically, I need to start all my transfer searches uh, now so we can get a good scout and then I can really look for who I want in these couple of months so we're not waiting for scout reports so this is an important time so if you do have any suggestions don't forget to drop them in the comments below so our next league game is away to Aston Villa who are always a tough club uh, to come up against so it is going to be a tough game so I am going to need a solid midfield and we're going to be probably looking to dig in a bit and go on the counter okay so the team for this game is going to be Similar-ish. Uh, Watkins back from injury. As you can see, he's still got the icon there, which means he's not fully uh, healed. So he may need to come off at half-time or something like that. Cliver has just been doing nothing. So he has been biffed out. And as you, as I just said, yeah, Watkins is back in the squad. Mookie did a fantastic job last game in front of the defence. So they have earned their places. Uh, the attacking midfield role is still available. So I'm going to try Ali Coote, who is a youngster from... The Brentford squad we are training him up so hopefully he can become one of our best players so we're gonna give him a go we've got Judge and Sessa on the bench uh, so I can choose between them Come on, one two one two where's Coot keep the run going Coot oh my god that's it bang oh Ali Coot what a finish one two with the tie finding holes in the defense not again oh there he is again right place right time 
90 minutes gone, two fantastic goals by Ali Coot, and we come out on top against Aston Villa. They had a bunch of chances early on in the first half and late on in the second half, but we came out at half time, guns blazing, got two quick goals, and almost a third with Ali Coot, as you saw, but it was a very, very well uh, deserved victory. Okay, just so you know what's going on behind the scenes, these are my five promising young players who can be the gods of our future team, and that is Watkins, Cliver, Egan, Coot, and Rico Henry. These guys are all very, very young, and they have all got some very, very high potential. I think it's Henry and Watkins are got high 80s, and Cliver is into the 90s. We did bring him in, but well, Henry and Watkins are homegrown, so that is very good news. Uh, they have been training after every game, improving after every game. Ali Coote was down at like 57 races or something, and we're already up to 60, and we're only about five games into the season, so we do have a lot of promise there. And yes, as you just saw there, that is three A's out of five players, showing that I have got some good people on our training regimes. Okay, so after those two games against Wolves and Aston Villa, we do sit nicely in fifth place, three points off the top spot. A goal difference, we do need to be banging in a few more goals and well, not, I get, and conceding less as well, so that we do give ourselves a chance if we end up level on points at the end of the season. But it's six games in, we are not doing too bad and we're in very good shape. So guys, that is all we do have time for today. In this video, we had two good games. Uh, two very tough opponents and got some points out of both of the games. Next up we are away to Sheffield Wednesday. Another tough game but I'm sure with the good run of form we have we will deliver and bring home some points. But yes guys, until then thank you very very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you all very soon.